Hi, I'm John Dixon, a trainer in scientific writing, and here's a bite that I hope may help you with your writing. Using the dash to introduce new information. Here, I use the term dash to mean the N or M dash, but not the hyphen or minus sign. As a parenthetical dash, the dash can be used singly or in pairs to introduce new information that you want to stand out or to interrupt sentence flow. Such new information may be notable, contrasting or surprising. It may summarize or provide an example or provide another name for something preceding. Let's consider some examples using the N dash. An example of introducing contrasting information. Few science faculties, ours being an exception, make scientific writing courses compulsory. An example of providing an example. Some punctuation marks, dashes, semicolons and the serial comma are often used incorrectly or inconsistently. And an example of introducing an alternative name, our genetic makeup, our DNA, determines our facial characteristics. Here, the N dash should have spaces around it to separate it from adjacent text. However, <clears throat> there are situations when the dash should not be used to introduce new information. We should use balancing commas for additional information when we don't want sentence flow to be interrupted. So, we biologists are interested in animals and plants. And here it's better to use balancing commas. And for incidental or even unnecessary information, use parentheses. So, the structure of DNA was first described over 60 years ago, in 1953. <clears throat> the M dash can be used as a parenthetical dash in the same way as the N dash, but it's more commonly used in US English. In British English, the N dash is often preferred. Do note that for parenthetical use, the M dash is placed adjacent to surrounding text, i.e. it's unspaced. Here are some resources that I found useful. And I hope that's helpful. For more rights, visit Network Pharma TV.